Greetings, everyone. Well, it's that time again. Yes, package opening time. I received uh, a rather sizable, hefty package from Frank, and looks like uh, Customs got their finger into this. Uh, fingers into this. This is the Canada Customs tape indicating that they took a little peek at the contents. Hopefully they uh, put everything back nicely in the box. And uh, a second package as well, which actually just came in today. The day, well, the day that I'm filming this anyway. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this exactly. But anyway, uh, because, and this also has some heft to it. So I'm thinking, those of you who have seen um, package openings that I've done before of packages from Frank will know that he usually sends quite a pile of stuff. His packages tend to be very much on the epic side. I'm guessing these are a couple that he's been working on for a while. I know he, he said a while back he was in the process of putting together some packages that he wanted to send, and that was quite a while ago. Now, he did recently send me a couple of packages, small ones, uh, namely the Steelbook, the 4K Steelbook of Sonic the Hedgehog. Very, very nice. And that came with a comic book, which I wanted to mention, Frank has since told me, this is to be read after the movie, so don't read this before the movie if you have the comic book. And he also sent along, of course, the uh, limited edition soundtrack uh, of the score of the movie. Very, very cool. This is a limited edition of 2,000 units, so it's actually very limited edition. So really, really cool to have this. So anyway, that was the previous uh, packages that he sent. And he said there was a note... Um, I don't know if I found the note and set it aside or what. I was going to dig it up and do it and like read the note in this package opening video, but I don't know where it went or if it just wasn't in there or, or what happened. But uh, I've looked everywhere because I, I'm usually very diligent about keeping any notes that are sent along in packages, but I have no idea what happened to that one. So if it turns up at some point, I'll read it at some point, but... Uh, I'm terribly sorry about that. I have no idea what happened to the note. Anyway, um, since we've got a pair of packages of equal size and heft, I'm thinking what we're going to do is uh, do this as a two-parter because uh, that's what we've done in the past with some of the big packages that Frank sent just because there's so much stuff to go through. So uh, welcome to part one of... An epic, hefty package from Frank. Maybe I'll change the title to something a little more relevant to the contents once we see what's in them. But, uh, yeah. Package from Frank. Today, on the Multimedia Chronicles. Okay, well, let's waste uh, no time here. I'm just going to set the second one aside for the moment. And let's uh, let's dig into the first one here. Now, uh, obviously, I want to be careful not to show the addresses. So we're just going to open this up. And then box cutter activated, of course. And then uh, we'll set it down, I think, just to uh, go through the contents. Okay. Here we go. Actually, if I go like this, there. Now you can't see. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Holy moly. Wow. Okay, this is just a pile of stuff. He says, to Sean, enjoy, take care, bye, from It's Frank. All right, thank you very much. Well, that was, that was, I read the note this time. <laughs> Holy, I don't even know where to begin. This is like, Packed to the gills with Blu-rays and DVDs. Holy moly. Okay, let's uh, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, alrighty. Well, first off, this is a series I've been wanting to see for a very long time. I've heard it's fantastic. Classic from 90s Nickelodeon. Rocco's Modern Life. The complete series. How cool is this? Oh, man. I, I've actually been wanting to watch this for a long time. All four seasons, 52 episodes. I know they recently brought it back. They did a, a Netflix 
movie, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna turn the mic ever so slightly. I just noticed we're like hard on the left. Hold on, don't mind the noise. There, that should be a little bit better. So, wow, definitely off to a great start so far. We got uh, Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series. Yeah, I've been wanting to check that out because that's, of course, one of those shows that, um, you know, hey, it's funny for kids, but there's a lot of jokes in it and humor in it that only adults would kind of pick up on, very subversive humor, as it were. Uh, so that's one I've been wanting to see for a very long time. So that's, that's awesome, dude. Next up, we have... Ah, Little Monsters, or Real Monsters. Sorry, Little Monsters is the Howie Mandel movie. <laughs> Real Monsters, the complete series. I remember seeing bits of this when it was on as well, and I thought it looked really funny, and uh, um, it'll be great to finally be able to see the rest of it. I think this is another one that has a lot of subversive humor in it, and of course I love anything with monsters in it too, so very, very cool. Getting some classic Nickelodeon into the collection here. Next up we have, oh wow, okay, you obviously wanted me to upgrade these. We have the Avengers 4K Steelbook Edition. Wow, okay, that is cool. Now, of course, I have the Metal Pack Edition of the Blu-ray or Iron Pack or whatever. It wasn't a Steelbook, it was something else, but, uh, but this is very cool. So whenever I get a 4K TV, um, this will be a very nice upgrade. I know... Uh, Rosie and I actually um, have been watching the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe from the beginning. Um, we've just got the last two to watch. The, um, is it Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home? So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Thank you very much. That is gorgeous. I do love me some beautiful steel books. And then we also have the 4K edition of Avengers Age of Ultron, which I've always felt was unfairly maligned by fans. It seems to have, you know, gained some respect in recent years, but when it first came out, I don't know why. People just didn't like it. I always really liked this one. I, I think it has some great humor in it. I love James Spader as the voice of Ultron. I think he's terrific. Um, and even Rosie was watching and she says, well, why didn't people like this one? That was great. So, I, 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 I don't know. I, I like Age of Ultron. Always have. So, very cool. That's, that's some very nice upgrades. Definitely appreciate that, dude. And now, I have not seen any of these. But I do love Steve Carell. And I'm, of course, familiar with the uh, characters that were spun off from this. We have Despicable Me. <laughs> Which apparently includes three mini-movies starring the Minions. Orientation Day, Home Makeover, and Banana. Very cool. Um, yeah, this is one I've wanted to check out for a while because I love Steve Carell um, and stuff. And uh, I remember seeing, a, I forget what it was, one of the late night talk shows where he came onto the show dressed as his character from this and, uh, and did the interview in character as the character. It was quite, uh, quite funny. But... Uh, yeah, very cool. So definitely going to enjoy checking that out. And then, of course, we also have Despicable Me 2. Very good. With another uh, three mini-movies featuring the Minions, I'm guessing. It doesn't say specifically what they are, but uh, only on the Blu-ray combo pack. Well, there you go. Very cool. So get lots of, uh, lots of Minions action there. And um, I think... I think Rosie has the first Minions movie, but I don't know that... I don't. I know I haven't seen it. I, th I think she's seen it, though. But, um... And then, finally, of course, we have Despicable Me 3. So we can have the, uh, you know, a marathon of the entire trilogy. And there you go. And it also has another mini-movie, The Secret Life of Kyle. Very cool. Excellent. Well, I'm definitely going to enjoy those. Sort of a, a parody of super villains and whatnot and uh i always thought it looked really funny from what i saw in the uh uh in the trailers so okay let's uh see what else we got it looks like we got a pile of disney stuff holy moly like mo well mostly disney some other stuff as well well let's go through the disney stuff here first up we have oh cool I have not seen this one. I've actually been wanting to see this one. We have 
Alice Through the Looking Glass. The, um, is this Tim Burton? It is Tim Burton, yeah. Well, produced by Tim Burton, anyway. And starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. And I think that's Sasha Baron Cohen. And, yeah, so basically the live-action take on uh, Alice in Wonderland, which I thought looked just trippy and cool from what I saw in the previews. So definitely going to enjoy checking that one out. And then uh, next up we have... Well, there we go. We have the first Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I didn't actually realize they'd done two of them, but there you go. So that's that's going to be a fun double bill. Very cool. Very nice. Going to enjoy that. Um, I always liked the original book of Alice in Wonderland, of course. It's just such a head trip of a story. It's uh, It's wonderful. Next up from Warner Brothers, we have... Dolphin Tale. There you go. I don't know. I've never even heard of this one. Uh, inspirational story of the bond between humans and animals. A boy named Sawyer discovers an injured dolphin. And is brought to a marine hospital and named Winter. And then give her a prosthetic tail because she loses her tail. Well, cool. So it's kind of like Cyber Flipper. <laughs> If, if Flipper was an android. And they did a sequel, apparently. Dolphin Tale 2. So there we go. So we got uh, The Adventures of Cyber Flipper. It's got Harry Connick Jr., Ashley Judd, Chris Christopherson, and Morgan Freeman. Wow, that's, uh, that's quite a cast, actually. Very cool. All right. And next up we have... Oh, I've never seen this one. Rango. Yeah, there you go. You get me all caught up on like the CG movies that I've never seen. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I heard this one was a lot of fun. I have not seen it. Directed by Gore Verbinski? Seriously? Wow, music by Hans Zimmer? Voice of Johnny Depp? Well, damn, this has some uh, some credentials to it. I'll uh, definitely enjoy checking that out. Oh, this one's a classic. Nice. We have The Page Master with Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. Very, very cool. I remember when this came out, it was one I wanted to check out because um, as a kid, I always enjoyed movies that mixed live action and animation. And this looked like kind of a fun modern take on that idea. And um, yeah, very cool. I will enjoy that. It, it, it struck me as being kind of, like just from the previews I saw, kind of never-ending story-like but more animated, I guess. But, uh, yeah, very cool. We'll definitely enjoy checking that one out. And let's see. We'll just keep going through the, the list here. We have, ah, oh, classic. I saw this when it was new. We have The Fox and the Hound and The Fox and the Hound 2, which I've actually never seen. That is awesome. I um, Somewhere in my books, I actually had... Um, um, well, I, ha I used to be subscribed when I was a kid to the uh, Disney storybooks where they would have, you know, those little hardcover books they would have that would adapt the movies or have new adventures with the characters from their famous animated movies and stuff like that. Um, I was subscribed to those for quite a while as a kid. I had like, I don't know, 50 of them or something. I don't have them all anymore. Sadly, they were sold a number of years ago, but uh, I do have um, a couple of them. I kept a few of my personal favorites. But uh, I remember, I'm pretty sure I had the one for the Fox and the Hound. And I remember another thing I had for Fox and the Hound, I remember distinctly as a kid doing this on the, the kitchen table at my aunt's house, was a, uh, what, what did they call it? It was one, not a paint by numbers, but it was like a, uh, it was one where you would, you would dip the paintbrush in water and then paint over the picture and the colors would come out. It had like little specks of color, I guess, or whatever. And you would, you would just add water and it would make the colors happen. I had one of those anyway, and it was for the Fox and the Hound. And I remembered, uh, remember doing that. I th might still have that book kicking around somewhere in a box in the closet somewhere, but, um, but yeah, very cool. Um, uh, that, that's one I always enjoyed as a kid. And next up we have, oh god, I haven't seen this in so long. We have Cool Runnings, classic. Oh, love Cool Runnings. 
uh, based on the true story, of course, of the Jamaican bobsled team and featuring the always wonderful John Candy. This is a great movie. I've seen this one a few times. Lots and lots of fun. And uh, I didn't even know. I see uh, a lot of Disney Movie Club stuff in here. You've been uh, you've been busy <laughs> with the uh, the Disney Movie Club. That's awesome because those. I mean, I don't. I'm not on in the Disney Disney Movie Club. So um, getting these titles is is a real treasure to me because they're just so hard to come by if you're not in the club. You know. Next up, we have the classic Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. One of the few big notable movies from 1989 that I actually don't have. Well, I guess I do now. Uh, very cool indeed. And uh, and apparently there's a new one coming out, isn't there? Yeah. Well, that's a good story by Stuart Gordon and Brian Yuzna. Really? And Ed Naha? That's, I, I know all of those names. Uh, Stuart Gordon and Brian Yosna, they did a lot of like low-budget sci-fi and horror stuff throughout the 80s, so this is interesting that they did a Disney movie. I did not know that this was one of their productions. That's interesting. And Ed Naha, I believe, uh, I think he, didn't he work on Robocop or something? I can't remember. I, I'll have to look it up, but uh, I do recognize the name. But very cool. I haven't seen this in a very, very long time, so that'll be a, a treat to revisit, especially with the new one in the works. And then, of course, we have Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I've actually seen this one. I know I've seen the original, but I, I don't think I ever actually saw this one. So this is very cool. Now, I remember when this came out on blue, on DVD, it had... Uh, no, of course, it doesn't have it on the, uh, the home video. But I remember when this came out on... Sorry, on VHS, it had Tummy Trouble, the... Um, uh, short film with Who Framed Roger Rabbit and when it was in theaters it had that as well and it was kind of a big deal because it was the first new Roger Rabbit thing that they'd done since Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. I think the Blu-ray I have of Who Framed Roger Rabbit actually includes that short on there so they just kind of put all the Roger Rabbit stuff together but uh, but yeah that's great and it'll be nice to, to see the sequel as well. Good stuff. Let's see what else do we got here. We have oh, I, I haven't even heard of this and we have the Journey of Natty Gan. Excellent. So straight from the Disney Movie Archives, because it's story of a crazy young girl. Oh, featuring a young John Cusack. Wow. So let's see. In the 1930s, with work nearly impossible to find, Saul Gan must leave his daughter behind when a job, open, when a job opens up out west. But Natty is determined to keep their little family together, so she begins an epic cross-country odyssey, aged aided by a teenage drifter and a magnificent protective wolf as she rides the rails, braves the wilderness, and defies all odds to reunite with her father. Well, that sounds like a good, good wholesome family fun adventure right there. Very cool. And next we have... Oh, we got like some of the like old school live action stuff. This is awesome. We have uh, the Boatniks, 45th Anniversary Edition. <laughs> wow. Starring uh, Robert Moore, Stephanie Powers, and Phil Silvers. I lo I used to watch the Phil Silvers show in repeats uh, when I was living in Selkirk. Such a great uh, comedian. Very cool. All right. Excellent. Never even heard of that one, but uh, always down for some classic Disney live action. Next up, we have The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. Oh, this sounds good. Disney's, oh, what is it? It's like a miniseries or something? Oh, wow. No, it is. Disney's thrilling three-part adventure, The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. With his mysterious mask, chilling laugh, and eyes more piercing than steel, Dr. Christopher Sin, kindly clergyman by day, rides by night disguised as the Scarecrow, the villagers' only hope against tyranny, against the tyranny and taxes of King George III. And when the royal army steps up its reign of terror against the local villagers, the vicar turned vigilante is put to the ultimate test in this action-packed saga. Excellent. So it's almost three hours long. That's cool. Or two and a half hours long. Nice. Excellent. Never even heard of that one. But uh, that's the beautiful thing about these packages is I get to discover things that I've not uh, seen before. Oh, this one I definitely know. We have the Three Caballeros, 75th Anniversary Edition. Yes. We got uh, Donald and I don't know who the other two are. But anyway, <laughs> the three Caballeros and then Goofy's in this as well. Nice. I don't know if I've ever actually seen this. I might, I know I've seen some of the musical numbers from it, but I, I don't know that I've seen the uh, entire movie before. So 
So very cool. Very nice. Love the... Uh, basically down for pretty much any of the classic Disney animated stuff. And a little bit more modern Disney animated stuff. We have a Goofy movie. Yeah, the original Goofy movie. Very nice. This one I do know. And I, I think I have seen this one like back when it was new. But uh, yeah, very cool. Basically, I think spun off from uh, Goof Troop, if I'm not mistaken. Goofy and his uh, son Max on a road trip. Very good times there. Excellent. Next up, oh man, I haven't seen this in so long. I loved this movie. Th this was one of the ones that, uh, it's Harry and the Hendersons, where uh, a family befriends Bigfoot, basically. Um, I remember this one, when this came out, I was really impressed by the animatronics of, the, uh, of Harry, basically of Harry's face and how expressive he was and everything. And I was just thinking, wow, animatronics are just getting better and better. Like, I can't imagine how good they'll be in 20 years. But then, of course, CG happened and... <sighs> but I, I love seeing stuff like this because to me, animatronics was like true movie magic. And seeing what could be done with it in terms of the expressiveness of a character is perfectly exemplified in Harry, in Harry and the Hendersons. There was a short-lived TV series of this as well, uh, which featured the same actor, I believe, as, uh, yeah, Kevin Peter Hall, as, uh, as Harry. He was like the go-to big guy to put in costumes. I think he was the predator as well. Next up, we have Heavyweights. Yeah, there we go. I don't know this. This is Ben Stiller? Yeah, Ben Stiller. A comedy of enormous proportions. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> summer camp has been sold to a crazy... An underdog group of kids discover their beloved summer camp has been sold to a crazy fitness fanatic who's determined to make their lives miserable. They unite to turn the tables and take back their woodsy hideaway. You'll fall in love with these heavyweights. They're big, loud, and proud and ready to win their way into your heart. Experience the fun like never before on Disney Blu-ray with never-before-seen footage including more than 30 deleted and extended scenes wow that's crazy that's like almost a whole other movie excellent cool well that sounds like fun okay now let's see we got a few more collector's editions oh yes this is one everybody tells me i need to see and i still haven't seen it now i finally can we have up there you go pixar disney disney's up which also features doug's special mission a short film featuring Doug. <laughs> Doug the dog. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Yeah, um, that's definitely one um, I've been wanting to see for a while, but I just never got around to picking it up. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Next up we have... Oh my God. I've seen... Uh, I think I've seen the trailer for this, but I never actually saw the movie. We have Sing from Illumination. Uh, yeah, this one looks hilarious basically oh god even do like the <laughs> flash dance parody on the back there that's great uh-huh starring matthew mcconaughey huh. an eternally optimistic koala who puts on the world's greatest singing competition to save his crumbling theater academy award winner reese witherspoon as rosita an overworked and underappreciated mother of 25 piglets desperate to unleash her inner diva Scarlett Johansson as Ash, a punk rock porcupine with a beautiful voice behind her prickly exterior, and Taryn Egerton as Johnny, a young gangster gorilla looking to break free of his family's felonies. Sing is the musical comedy event of the year. Well, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Very cool. Alrighty. Next up. Oh, the yeah, ad. This is one I've been wanting to see for a while. I've seen... There's so many memes from this movie that... Uh, um, I really, but I heard that the movie itself was really good, and I've been wanting to check it out for a while. We have Zootopia, yeah, which I think went by another name in uh, in the UK for some reason. I don't know why, Zootropolis or something. I can't remember, but uh, but yeah, this is the North American title anyway. Zootopia, very cool. Uh, looked like a lot of fun. And next up we have Rio, which I've never seen. Yeah, a bit of a sad note. Apparently the 
breed of parrot that Rio was inspired by uh, is now extinct as of just a couple years ago. Yeah, um, hunted to extinction, essentially. And, uh, and that was that, so kind of, uh, kind of sad. But uh, from the creators of Ice Age, very, very funny. I've seen a couple of the Ice Age movies. I think I don't I think I've seen all of them. And then we have Rio 2. There you go. Very cool. I haven't seen either one of these. I've heard they're a lot of fun. So, very cool. Yeah, you're definitely catching me up on a lot of the CG movies that I've missed. <laughs> Next up we have... Ah, yes. Horton, here's a who. This one I have seen. Um, I think... I think I have it somewhere. Maybe Rosie has. I can't remember. But I, I know I've seen it before. And, um, of course, the... Um, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I don't know if... I don't know if we have seen this one. No, I'm think, I think I'm thinking of the original. The animated one. Like, the original like animated special. Yeah. No. We haven't seen this one. Um, we've seen the animated... It's the original animated special a few times. But I've never actually seen this version of it which uh, apparently is really good. Um, very cool. Well, I always like the old animated special, so I'm sure I will enjoy this new iteration. And we're out of room on the music stand. We we're so loaded up with stuff here, but that's okay. There's only one left. We have the perennial Disney classic, the original 101 Dalmatians. Yes. Uh, this one I've seen many, many times. Loved it as a kid. Um, this one I actually did have the the Disney the little Disney hardcover storybook of. Uh, very, very cool. So it'd be nice to be able to you know revisit this one at long last. The Walt Disney Signature Collection with the slip cover. Very nice. Yeah, I love that you, you got so many of these uh, with the slip covers, which is great. As you know, I I love those because they're Highly collectible. Can I just barely fit this one on? Yes, there we go. Holy moly, that is a lot of stuff. So, that is the end of package one. We still have uh, package two to go through. But we'll do that one next time. So be sure to tune in for part two and more awesomeness i have no idea if the, the other one's also just full of blu-rays and dvds or if there's other stuff sometimes he sends a variety of things i have no idea it's a surprise to me as well as you all righty well thank you so so much for all this stuff uh, frank that is awesome there's quite a few there that i've uh, i've had my eye on for a while a lot that i've never heard of that i'm, I'm sure i'll enjoy checking out and um yeah that I, i'm just beside myself i don't even know where to what to say like i'm just like blown away by the awesomeness of, of of this package and there's still another one to go so yeah wow <laughs> thank you so much frank you're you're awesome dude like your your packages never fail to blow me away all righty well that is it for part one everybody so we will see you next time until then Big thanks once again to Frank, which, who, by the way, I, I forgot, almost forgot to mention, Frank has started doing YouTube videos again. So if you'd like to check out his YouTube channel, be sure to check out the description down below. I will put the link to his YouTube channel there before, uh, again, uh, for you in there. Go. <laughs> All right. That is it for me to you for now. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. And I'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara.